you know guys like that some kind of a crazy horror movie like uh, a crew will go into a space station everything is fine the host will tell them like guys feel like home feel comfortable you don't need to wear your suits and then when they don't have the suits or suits uh, then uh, the host will release N2O in, inside the base and they will fall asleep and then they will wake up without kidneys. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Saddam of the Bears and this is Station Ears. So I think I'm going to start with the boring part. I mean the boring part. Let's take a look what is inside my base. So a lot of crap, oxygen, nitrogen, CO2, oh, volatiles and pollutant. That's not good. So we start this puppy, it should suck the air or clean it, <laughs> it should, alright? So my helmet, helmet is closed, that's good, now let's go outside because I need to get some fuel for the furnace and I'm going to make some alloys because I would like to build some things and without the alloys it won't happen. So let's go outside and oh nice that was a nice chili <laughs> rough like uh, just a little bit you know oh good so oh we are running low on fuel so I need to do oh no please please no this is not happening I come like uh, I was mining outside and this is bad because I completely forget to mine or to get the volatiles and oxides. Okay, so this one is completely empty. We have the fuel. Yeah, I think we do. This needs to be... I'm sure this is more than enough. So we have 2 MPA here and 1200 Kelvins. This could be good for... I think for Electrum, yeah this is perfect for Electrum, oh shoot, why I don't have any silver with me, and this is exactly what I didn't want to do, like a, another mining trip, no, I'm not going to mine anything, alright, so ne next time I won't skip uh, this part, going through the airlock, because the ingots were trying to kill me again, and it looks like a sort of funny, at least funny for me guys, so <laughs> I think I need to move the ingots, like uh, to have the ingots in front of the door or the airlock, it, it is not very good idea, so I, I, I need to move them for sure. So this is maybe like 150 gold, maybe 200 G, and what about 200 of silver so this will give me plenty of electron but when I'm going to smelt something I think I can smelt it in bulk 50 50 so that's 300 and 300 this could be maybe enough but when I will be outside maybe I can do solder because the temperature will drop a lot I think so solder is iron and lead. So let's get some iron. So that's iron. Oh, what? Steel. Oh, shoot. I have steel. I don't need to smelt steel, but maybe I will do it anyway because I do like smelting and playing with these uh, furnaces. So iron and lead. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the lead. I moved the gold and silver so pressure is fine temperature is all right so let's try what happened let's start with the gold like a uh, let's see what is the temperature doing temperature is dropping slowly okay so temp we have a temperature drop and solder or uh, i mean electron is just about 330 degrees so I think maybe we can do 100 
let's see what is uh, the temperature temperature looks fine so it needs to be about 600 kelvin so we have 100 g of gold inside so let's toss inside 100 g of silver and this will give me 200 g of electrum if everything is fine but it needs to be about 600 kelvins what is happening 700 kelvins 600 oh whoa 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 stop it stop it okay so that was very close so that means i can't make more electrum because the temperature is, is low like this is not enough but what i can do maybe i can't oh shoot so let's try to no power now really or 50 percent and that's still fine so let's try gold or uh, iron and lead to make the solder just like that let's see what happens like I, i'm not sure if if uh, if this will smell because i think the temperature will be very low solder all right so it needs to be less than 350 oh no we, we have the solder that's not bad okay we have 100 g of solder okay so let's make another one what do i have in my hand lead and iron okay so let's do it again and i'm absolutely sure guys something was changed in the game because the temperature drop before it was not so fast what is happening where is the iron ingot okay so what lead okay let's start with the lead the lead is there nice let's toss inside the iron like i'm very confused right now i did a small mistake guys so something wants to burst but not yet and i had to add a lot of iron and lead in, in into the furnace otherwise it won't smell like i had oh shoot shoot, shoot. oh no please okay so this is really really bad i don't have any power i completely forget about my suit oh this is bad i'm freezing in the suit maybe this what this will do all right saramo cut the crap take the solder and get inside the base all right all right yeah is there a little bit more solder I, i'm not greedy but i want it <laughs> Otherwise it, otherwise it will run away. So let's go inside the base. And maybe I can make it in time. Maybe. Like I knew I need to leave one large battery cell outside the base. For changing but. I completely forget about it again. Okay so this battery goes here. And I will take one battery with me. And I will leave it outside in the. APC. So this was almost my, I would say, last mistake. <laughs> I do have a lot of solder and electrum will be the next. I hope there is no storm coming right now, otherwise the storm will steal my ingots. And that's not what I want. Like, of course, I do have plenty of resources, but I have the ingots stacked outside and that's why I don't want to lose them, right? <laughs> what is this? Just an ingot. Alright, so we do have uh, resources inside. We have 200 steel and we have solder and I saw some electrum here. Electrum was easy to make. And I wanted to make arc welder. What do I need? Oh shoot, inwire. I don't like make, making in inwire. And maybe I need to call the trader. Maybe trader can sell me inwar and I can skip this part. 
and I would like to do some kind of investigation because my furnace, which is outside, is doing some crazy noises. And I'm sure there are some pipes overfilling. Maybe they are not connected or connected or something like that. So I need to find out. Do I have the battery? Yes, I do. Do I have the spare battery? Yes, I do. And what about... Oh, shoot. I could recycle this crap. Solar generator, I don't need it. Battery cell, that's the small. I don't need it. So let's recycle it. Because I'm just trying to get rid of this crap slowly. Oh, shoot. The recycler is not working centrifuge does not need to run yet because i can load the centrifuge in one go and then i can spin it and centrifuge will spit it out later that's good and i will open my helmet the air quality is good i'm still alive that's fine i think guys you can hear Something is wrong with this furnace. I guess there is a bursted pipe inside and the gases or the exhaust goes into that frame. So I would say that frame is really, really pressurized. So I will take a wrench because I don't have the scalpel. And rule number one, if you are trying to fix something and you don't know what is happening over there, you need to stay away like a far away maybe just like that okay i heard small explosion so what was that of course there is a bursted pipe oh okay i see that pipe is not connected to this pipe because i think when i was working on it i forget to connect it and there is a water pipe as well that's from the furnace inside and that's not connected like uh, how to say it i didn't want to use this furnace anymore but it is still good so i will use it so let's fix it the fix will be very weak because i do have the pipes here so let's do this pipe first just like that and let's connect it oh shoot i need a wrench let's connect it with this pipe so problem fixed this is the fuel line i need to connect the fuel is it the fuel line or it is not i think it is like what could go wrong like if you will connect a fuel line or an exhaust pipe what could go wrong right <laughs> so yes it was a fuel line it wasn't a exhaust pipe otherwise we would have a very small no not small but we would have some kind of a fireworks unwanted fireworks here so h2o to n2 perfect so that was the fire that was the fuel line for sure and as i said before i didn't want to use this puppy outside but i have it connected so i can use it if i want but i need to fix this pipe as well so i'll be back so the problems with the pipes was or were fixed everything is connected even the, the water pipe and this is exactly what happens when you are not paying attention to your pipe bender and you leave it running this is exactly what happened like i have 60 or i think 40 or maybe 60 more pipes which i don't want or i don't need but who cares right so i can recycle them so let's go back to the furnace everything should be normal and working and i was thinking like uh, when i was looking around my roof i was thinking i do have a oxygen tank this is the nitrogen tank which is logic like uh, if, if you want to mix the atmosphere for your base i would say it is good to have these two tanks together but i think i did a mistake because i do have a carbon dioxide uh, tank here and this would be or it should be the hydrogen tank not the, the carbon dioxide 
I would say the best place for carbon dioxide tank would be probably this corner because I do have the pipes in the greenhouse already everything is connected so if I want to store the carbon dioxide it will be perfect here because then I don't need to run another pipe and I'm not going to mix carbon dioxide with anything else and if I will have the hydrogen here I can mix my fuel just on my roof or just behind the wall so I don't need to go anywhere and this is because uh, I was checking what I do have in these pipes and there is like a little bit of hydrogen and a little bit of mess and I need to get rid of that N2O like uh, I know the devs they promised like two years ago maybe more like uh, we will have a surgery in the game which is not implemented yet but maybe I want to store N2O one day will we have the surgery maybe or a spaceship will fly to my base with some kind of a passengers so I would invite them or welcome them in in my base with N2O right <laughs> you know guys like that some kind of a crazy horror movie like a, a crew will go into a space station everything is fine the host will tell them like guys feel like home feel comfortable you don't need to wear your suits and then when they don't have the suits or suits uh, then uh, the host will release n2o in inside the base and they will fall asleep and then they will wake up without kidneys <laughs> I'm sorry guys for this alright but I just had a, some kind of a urge or something like that to stay oh shoot 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 I'm not I'm not going inside my base I wanted to do Electrum of course this episode is about stupid smelting so let's do Electrum oh shoot maybe that's too much so we have 1.1 MPA fuel inside the furnace now we have 35 MPA, everything is working and on fire, but we need less than 2.4 MPA of pressure inside the furnace, but the temperature is fine. So let's get this gold and let's melt it into furnace. Just like that, that's 100 G, 150, 200 G. Just like that. So we, oh, good. I didn't put it there. Okay, now it's there. And now I need to find out that stupid silver which is trying to hide in the corner of the airlock. One there, one over there, and I need two more. 50 and 50. So that's 100G. Just like that, and let's see what we have inside. Oh, shoot. That furnace is very loud. So, we will have 400G of Electro, I guess. So, I will wait for it. Like, uh, it is very hard or it is difficult to record the stationer's YouTube video and compress it into 30 minutes. Like, if this would be a stream, it would be so much easier because I can't I, I can do whatever I want I can talk with you and the stream can be eight hours long like I don't mind but compress it into a 30 minutes video it would be very very difficult so we have 33 MPA that's good and we need to lower the pressure we need like uh, something about 2.4 MPA. So let's see what do we have inside. We have 5.30 or 5.3 or 4.5 I guess and the pressure goes down. Maybe just a little bit more and it will have 2.4 in a few seconds and I think it's there. Oh no, 2.6. So 2.5 
2.4 and we should have the electrum do we yes we do let's pull the le lever or lever toss it there and i would say we successfully managed to smelt electrum everything is fixed outside like almost everything the pipe problem is fixed i did mine a little bit of ice i did mine a little bit of volatiles and oxides so i'm getting fuel again and i think i need to do inwar oh shoot inwar is between 18 and 20 mpa and it needs uh, 1200 kelvins up to 1500 kelvins so that's not bad and it's iron and nickel so i guess guys i need to do inwar so but i want to do it like a crazy crazy large amount guys i'm really really sorry i completely forget that i do have a furnace inside the base so i was just trying to move some ingots out of the base but i don't need to do it because i can do it in the base so everything is shut here let's get some fuel inside the furnace i would say one mpa will be more than enough all right so let's start it 42 point or almost 43 mpa so nickel okay that's 100 nickel or 100 g of nickel 200 g of nickel just like that and 300 g of nickel so that's 300 and we do 100 g of iron another 100 g of iron and again 100 g of iron just like that and let's see what happens all right so the resources are coming through the chute inside the furnace everything is all right the pressure is slowly dropping because uh, the temperature is dropping that's perfect that's exactly what i expected but i need to lower the temperature because inward temperature is from 927 to 1227 degrees and we have almost 2000 degrees in the furnace but we don't have everything smelted yet all right so everything is fine like this is some kind of a different style furnace like it doesn't have a i would say a chamber with a, a cold air which is fine so we will do another 100 g of nickel 100 g of nickel it is just like that and 100 g of iron just like that because i would like to smelt stupid in my in bulk so we have 1900 degrees so that it will be 400 and 400 and when we are here i guess we can do 500 because why not right so just like that everything is showered in the furnace the temperature is dropping but it is still too high so 470 nickel 500 g of nickel the temperature is dropping and if we want to drop it a little bit faster i can open this valve let's do it just like this oh shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, oh 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 this was a this was a really bad move oh shoot this was a bad move guys i did lower the pressure too much but there is a way how we can fix it maybe so let's get iron and let's get nickel this will lower the temperature a lot and it will make the pressure higher so this was a some kind of a small accident which is fixable because if you are smelting uh, ores the ores will release a lot of gases and while you are smelting ores it will drop the temperature and it will increase 
the, the, the pressure. But we are still not there. So we have 600g of iron, 600g of nickel, that's fine. And we need a little bit more nickel and we need a little bit of iron because we are just maybe a hair, <laughs> just a hair away from smelting invar, maybe. Okay, I hope I am not going to reach the maximum amount of ingots inside the furnace so let's do it one more time to nickel and iron and this is th this is the reason why i keep sometimes extra ores like a iron and iron and uh, nickel or maybe a silver and gold okay we do have the temperature and we do have the pressure but we can do 700 and 700 yeah i think this is fine because if i will play with it just a little bit more then it will be disaster as always so we need the pressure somewhere between 18 and 20 mpa and we can see on the display the furnace will smelt in one so let's speed it out and you need to oh shoot <laughs> Yeah, I did fall into the hole again. So let's see what do we have here. 500, 400 and 500 of Inwar. Piece of cake. So I guess I don't need to smelt stupid Inwar for a while. So I will store my Inwar maybe somewhere here. And what about 100 Inwar more? Hmm, so that's 400 and iron and nickel it is just like that because i would like to show you something like i have the, the right temperature i have the right uh, pressure and this monitor or display will show you or show me what i am going to smelt when it is ready and it is in war again so we have another 100g of in war nice and of course i would like to combine it into a larger ingot so let's get the labeler i will change this to 500 so 100 and 400 these and we have another 500 e of invar perfect so i guess i don't need to to smelt in war for a while and while i have it i done it or i did it let's do the arc welder finally guys finally oh no the the tool manufacturer is slow so maybe i need to do a mod for the tool manufacturer or tool tool maker so let's find the mod printer pr printer like a auto -late electronic printer pie bender tool printer mode all right so let's make one because we can i don't like tool maker to be slow so this is the arc welder is it and i need a battery for it like a, at least this one okay so everything is fine and I don't want to use this puppy anymore. Okay, so this is flashing. Why is it flashing error? Is it full or is it broken? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't want to turn it on. I want to recycle it. Let's see if it is going to explode or not. It doesn't. Or it did not explode. That's good so i can finally do some welding inside my base without releasing the nasty gases in in in, in the base so guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one this is the way